understand exactly how all that is working and how we should bring solutions to all kind of issues that we can be facing there. So I'm going to show you this uh, experimentation we did on, on Twitter, uh, which happens a few months ago. So what happened at that time? Uh, I've heard about um, some kind of issue with some of the Kinder Surprise eggs, which was a dad in France we, which, who opened the eggs and found that there was nothing in it. So this was a drama at home because the little boy could not have this kind of surprise, just have the egg, and if the toy is not in the egg, this is just a nightmare. So uh, I have to say it's quite difficult to believe that this really happened. And by deciding to answer this uh, threat, uh, we've been opening at the same time a door for 100,000 of people to say the same and to try to get free eggs, free kind of eggs. But we decided to make the case once and to see where the story would brought, brought, bring us. So uh, I've, I've seen this first uh, alarm, if I can say, through this guy who has something like a few thousand followers, which is not nothing uh, in terms of influence. Uh, then, um, of course, this community has been retweeting the, the story or, or the crisis, if I can say. Uh, and we've been trying to follow and to see exactly what people were and what they've been saying, what was the tone of conversation, and if it was exactly sticking to the point or going somewhere else. And then suddenly I just jumped in myself with my own Twitter account saying, we are really sorry to learn about that. And of course, we're going to support you. We're not going to let this happen without any reaction. So I did react. And what I did, in fact, is that I just went myself during my day to the post office, I bought a box, and then I go to the supermarket, and I bought two boxes of Kinder Surprise eggs. I just put them myself in the box, went back to the post just during my lunch, and sent them back to the guy and said, okay, this has been done in quite a nice speed, if I can say, never been fast enough for the web, but it was just a few hours, it was done. And then uh, the guy to who I answered first just said, okay, so I've been reacting, so he just retweets my answer, and his own community has been doing the same. So the message is traveling, they are retweeting me, as you all know, and uh, it's still traveling across France. And what is amazing is that, of course, what was supposed to happen with the web happened, is that the message continued to travel, to travel, and then suddenly just left, started to go through the boundaries, you know, and the notion of boundaries is very important for Captain like us, because when I'm trying to speak with the same guys, but the fact that the boundaries on the web are not the same boundaries for the one they are handling with a daily business in shops, then it becomes an issue because it's very difficult to, to make the parallel between both environments. And then when we, when we started to go uh, close to the boundaries, we still went even outside because you will see that after doing all France, we went in the UK. So the message, thanks to a UK native, went out of France, which is not a surprise for you, but again, for a company, an industrial company based, uh, basing his business on local sales, it's very important to show how just one campaign from one customer can go so far, uh, so quick, because all that happened, you know, just in few hours, you know, you can see that from the history of the conversations, that all that happened in, in a bunch of hours. So I just told them, the guy that I've been to the past, the first message was 13 hours ago, here we are 11 hours ago, so just in two hours I've been sending back the product to the guy and so that his little boy could receive the Kinder Surprise eggs with the, with the surprise the, the following day. And then all the community is retweeting the, the story, saying they like it, they don't like it, blah blah blah, and uh, the story continues to travel. So what became as a negative threat? is starting to move in something which is positive, thanks to the fact that I've been simply listening and reacting to the, to the story. And then the guy, Viper, who is the dad concerns, is just sharing the information with his community, and now he's waiting to see if the Kim Surprise are really going to come by traditional mode. And hopefully, of course, everything happened, and uh, the following open day, the, the, the Kim Surprise eggs have been delivered by email, so if you just go you will see that all the community is retreating the positive solution of the threat and that in fact uh, the little boy indeed got his kind of surprise egg. So if you just try to make a kind of learning of this uh, 
basic case, if I can say, for us tutoring every day, which is really not the case of people <coughs> who are selling products every day uh, on the ground. We have at the end something like 10,000 people who have seen the issue, not only in France, across different countries, and all that happened in just a few hours for just one unsatisfied customer. And this is what I'm using internally to try to explain to the people that just one unsatisfied customer in the age of Twitter and social networks and the world of connection uh, can reach 10,000 people in just a bunch of hours. Uh, I'm not able to say what I've been saving with regard to the company brands, images. I'm not able to say this has had an impact on sales the following week. I'm not able to say anything of this. Why? Because how can I measure that? It's just impossible to measure. The, and this is where, where the story is so difficult with the social network. Is there are many things that you are convinced about the success that it brings to people, but you can just not measure that turn that into real numbers, which is where a very big issue is for us. So this has been just one, one story that we've been facing, uh, and this is how just one satisfied customer reached out to 10,000, which is again uh, something that you all probably believe because you're all tweeting, but which has been a very important and interesting learning for the industrial company that we are, uh, much more focusing on TV than on uh, conversational web. That's it, I will stop here because we're very late. I won't show you the, the, the other presentation. just wanted to share this concrete case to show you where, uh, what kind of issues we could be facing uh, as an industrial company. Thank you. So, at least you will have